Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 31st of 2021. Well, it is titled a blue moon in exaggerated colors. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our moon and called the blue moon, not for its color, but because of the timing of the full moon. Now in some definitions, the full moon is the second full moon of a month. Although the typical astronomical definition and the original definition of a blue moon was that it was in a season if there are typically three full moons, but occasionally there will be four full moons in a season. So this is the third full moon of summer and the third of the four full moons in a season that has four would be called a blue moon. Now again, it is not blue because of the color. The coloring here is actually been enhanced. Typically, when we look at the moon, it has very bland colors, a little bit of grayish, grayish and brown and maybe some gold colors as you look at the moon. However, you can actually measure some differences in color. And if you contrast them and bring out to emphasize those color differences, you get something like you see here. So the color difference have been greatly exaggerated and help to correspond to differences in the chemicals present on the moon's surface. So you're able to see blue areas scattered around which are areas that are rich in titanium. The orange and purple regions are relatively low in port titanium and iron. So they don't have near as much of those. So we can see those when we bring out and enhance the color here. You'll notice that a lot of those darker blue areas are part of the Maria. Maria are the smooth what we call seas on the surface of the moon. And they are not seas in terms of water as we're used to thinking of here on Earth. They are actually seas of lava that formed many billions of years ago when the moon was still very young and large impacts that had occurred in hollowed out basins were then flooded by lava from the interior. So they are still smooth today because those occurred after the majority of the cratering had already finished. So they are still three and four billion years old, but newer than the other parts of the moon's surface. Now the newest objects we see on the moon are those craters with the rays stretching out from them including Tycho down towards the bottom right as great rays of material from the impact spread across moon surface. Now they what we don't we see those rays only because those craters are relatively recent. Over time, even on the moon, there will be slight bits of erosion that will wear down and erase those rays. So any large impact would have event originally had those but over time they get worn down. So it is only those that are the most recent that still show that sort of ray material and still have it visible to us as we see today. So that was our picture of the day for August the 31st of 2021. It was titled a blue moon in exaggerated colors. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be galactic ghosts. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.